Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. The simulator where you get to wash the pain away. <laughs> yeah, we're currently a third of the way through the treehouse. So at the end of last episode we're done all these signs. We're done, I think we're done the entire underside and a few of the external walls. Uh, <laughs> there's so much to do. <laughs> I don't want to do it but I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. We're gonna try and green up and down the stairs. Yeah, is it working? It's not it's not really working. I think I think mouse movement is required. Uh, so no story time with Matt last episode. Very disappointing for some of you but do not worry story time with Matt is gonna happen very shortly because it's actually the reason why I'm playing this right now. All right, come on then, whilst, whilst we do these stairs, it's story time with Matt. Gotta love that jingle, gotta love that jingle. Uh, right, so at the, at the moment in the UK, this today is a Sunday and it's bloody hot. It's about 30 degrees. Uh, it's sort of, it's getting on for late afternoon. I was just, I was just having a Sunday snooze outside in the garden. I'm not really one for naps, but uh, today in the, in the massive heat, a nap was required, so I went outside. I thought I'd catch a last little bit of afternoon sun, try and tan up the old body a bit. So I shoved a towel down, got my naked body out. Just, just top off, don't worry. I was only, I was only shirtless. Do not worry. And uh, got on with the snooze. Meanwhile, as some of you know, I have a dog, a little, a little puppy. Well, he's not, he's not little anymore. He's quite big. He's seven months old. A black Labrador called Paddy. So I went outside. I was like, so I was laying on a towel on my lawn, not out the front. That'd be weird out the back getting a bit sweaty because it was hot and then fell asleep got woken up because i could feel this like weird stuff on my back i was like what the hell is that so sort of woke up dazed and confused and then whatever it was went in my mouth as well i was like oh, oh what is going on and bloody you'd never guess what happened that bloody dog had come outside bear in mind it's super hot he's literally wearing a tea towel like we've got this damp tea towel a christmas one uh, that we make it all wet and put it on his back. So he looks like a horse. A little bit. <laughs> but yeah. So he'd come out. Saw me sleeping. And was like. I'm going to dig a hole in the lawn. Right in front of his face. And all the bits of dirt and grass. I'm going to make sure they land on him. So all the, all the little bits of mud and dust. Will all stick to his sweaty back. And any that don't go that far. Will go into his face. And into his mouth. So yeah. Cheers pad. Cheers for that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I told him off. And I was like. Right, sod this, I'm annoyed now. What can I do to cheer myself up? Cool myself down. Yes, come in a locked room with an RTX 3090 and power hose for the next couple of hours. Probably not my wisest ideas. I'm literally sweating my balls off already. I'm only, well, oh god. We're only seven minutes in. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. Yeah, no one sort of told me this downside of owning super powerful PC hardware. It kicks off some heat. Good in the winter because you can save on the old on the old heating bill. But uh, yeah, this time of year, I'd, I'd rather not if I'm honest. But yeah, I just figured if I can get annoyed at this game rather than my cute little Labrador puppy, then it's better for everyone, isn't it? But yeah, if you are interested in knowing anything more about my puppy, he has his own channel. So I've been doing, a, it's kind of become a shorts channel now. Just any little shenanigans he gets up to. And you'll probably notice he's a lot smaller in the current videos than that photo I just shown you because I'm quite behind on that channel. I didn't, I didn't just want to spam like 10 videos a day even though i filmed like that many when he was a puppy because it's so damn cute uh, but yeah quite a few videos a week of good puppy goodness go check it out all right i'll tell you what I'm, I'm a little bit lonely doing this so i'm gonna go on stream let's stream some power hose and if you are watching this on youtube you'll probably get some highlights of the stream right now uh i i just i literally just started recording this as a video and i was like you know what i'm bored i'm gonna i'm gonna have chat come keep me company because i'm <laughs> I'm like, what was I? I was like five minutes in. I was like, I'm already losing my marbles. I need chat. I need chat. Shall we shall we start with the spiral staircase? I think that could be a nice little nice little opener. Cock. <laughs> Am I right? Right, that, that means we've got to go draw one somewhere. There you go, mate. You can tell all your friends I drew a knob for you. I'm sure they'll be very impressed. They, they, they probably won't. I'm sorry. Carry on. What were we on? I think we're on... We're doing a bit of green. We're doing yellow. Yellow is my favorite nozzle. It's got a good amount of everything. Bit of width, a bit of power. And I've got the long range arm so I can do it from down here. So I did the scaffolding for under there and it was a bloody nightmare. I don't really want to go back to scaffolding. Because you have to move it and climb up and down it. It's horrible. Oh, that's that's a terrible A. What is that? That's the worst A I've ever done. Evergreen moth. I'm going to turn your eight into a knob. <laughs> what about blood raven? I think your double O in blood raven. We're going to knob that up. I've just realized doing this is going to make this level take like... 
ten times longer. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. How am I going to knob this one up as well? Uh, careful. Careful. Is this going on YouTube? <laughs> the amount of knobs, it probably shouldn't. Uh, has Paddy ever been in water? Yes. He's done a bit of swimming. He hates... We bought him like a dog paddling pool. Won't go near it. Absolutely hates it. And that's backwards. N. Shit. <laughs> I love that that's your first ever chat. I get like a little notification when someone first speaks in the chat. And now Sam's one is, where's my knob? <laughs> uh, it's in your pants, mate. It's in your pants. It is Welsh. Oh, nice. See, I know Welsh. I live in Wales. But you have earned this. You have earned this magnificent thing. This level takes so long to clean. You're telling me and I'm not doing it the most uh, efficient way at the moment. Oh, someone bought, someone bought a dad joke, did they? I, I do actually have one lined up. Uh, did you hear the one about the school kidnapping? It's alright though, he woke up. Uh, <laughs> terrible. Nob me up. <laughs> That's your first time ever chatting as well. <laughs> Nob me up. He sounds like a dad. <laughs> I, I am a dad. To Paddy. And let me know if you want a knob. Or let me know if you don't want one. Because you're probably going to get one regardless. Because I'm nice like that. I look after my viewers. kind of want to do the door. Because it looks like one already. So if I just do like... And we can just do the edge of this door. And technically we're cleaning it as well. So I am actually helping myself complete the level with this one. Lovely. I, I, came, I, I am questioning why I came on Twitch, if I'm honest. Because I came on so you'd keep me company. And I could just fly through this. And at the moment... <laughs> I probably haven't got anywhere. So cheers, guys. Cheers. How are we going to write this? That's a long name as well. It's longer than that one. I think we're going to have to do you... Ugh, not like that. We're going to have to write to you around here somewhere. I like a bit of ham hock. I literally didn't really know what it was until like a couple of years ago. No, it's bloody delicious. Oh, look. It's the foot. The big foot foot. Oh, I should have put ham cock. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. Right. I'm going to get back to cleaning now. All right, let's do... I'm going to keep doing the outsides and then the underneath. So we'll rotate and we'll do this orientation. Ah, oh, back to actually power washing. <laughs> How long have we been going? Half an hour. And we've barely touched this staircase. Uh, don't worry. I, yes, hands, hands are off. I have learned the ways of right clicking in this game. What an idiot I was. I played so long. I think like my whole first episode and maybe some of the second was all holding down the mouse. And then some of my later episodes as well, I just forgot that that was a thing as well. But uh, yeah, at the moment, it's uh, it's all the right click helping me out. Oh God, we got to get under there. Tell you what, I might go up here first. Oh no, what? Wait, why am I so confused? I was, yeah, I was meant to do that. Getting those crevices. I, I don't do much like competitive poly bridging anymore, as you found out from the Olympics. <laughs> Not my strong suit. Who was the narrator? So that was my friend... Cool. Um, definitely not me. I love, one of the comments was like, I love the whole video apart from that. Why did you do that? It was really annoying. <laughs> I was like, oh, who has a great voice. <laughs> oh, look, look, he's just come in. Hello, Matt. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just streaming. You should probably go away because I'm trying to stream on the computer right now. Sorry, I'll leave you to it. Bye, Matt. <laughs> wow, who would have thought it all came in out of nowhere? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm losing my mind, aren't I? I'm losing my mind. Uh, would you like a knob, sir? Would you Would you like a knob? It's buy one, get one free. Wow, he is still doing this. <laughs> uh, if you have just come back, I did I did start cleaning the spiral staircase. You don't want a knob, okay? I'll give you a knob then. Sorry, that's just how it works. That's just how it works. Yeah, I've got to get back to my spiral staircase. Where was it? Was it over here somewhere? Yeah, here it is. Because we haven't, we haven't progressed it. Oh, god damn. <laughs> Guys, we were so close. We were so close. <laughs> Everyone is here for a knob. If you've come for a knob, you've come to the right place. I, I don't know if I should be saying stuff like that. Mr. Glass. Yes, that's his name. That name again is Mr. Glass. I'm just cleaning the window. I'm not doing anything suspicious. I'm just cleaning the window. Uh, right, back to the staircase. Here it was. Did we do all of the outside? I think we did actually. Ish. There's a few few ropey bits on the outside. We can press tab and see what sort of a job we did. We did okay. We didn't we didn't do great actually. actually I don't know the best way. Should I just go side to side or up and down? Maybe just side to side. It is sweaty in here by the way. All right and look at this we are we're going downstairs doing the outsides. Oh there you go and look the stairs were done. I feel like for some reason I don't know if it's just this level or maybe they updated it a bit. 
The game's a bit more, like, generous. It used to be, like, really picky. So I remember when I played Lawnmower Simulator, I was like, this game really isn't picky compared to this one. But I feel like it's a bit more generous these days. Or maybe it's just because I'm doing such a large level. There's, like, bigger room for error. Finally, a realistic looking knob. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really one to judge, but uh, I would be worried. All right, so I did these slats. I think, did I do them going up on the outside? So I think when I... Oh no, I haven't done that side at all. Bollocks. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to have to do them twice, basically. But essentially, I'm just going to do these sides. And then I'll turn around and go the other way. Uh, last stream, you talked about your favourite engineering job. But what was your least favourite? Ooh. Okay, so my least favourite job. It's really hard because it's like least favourite at the time or least favourite looking back. I'm going to say least favourite at the time. I have actually talked about this job in one of my milestone videos, my very early ones. It's when I worked for a project in Qatar, QS36 it was called. And basically it was like a new sort of, well basically a city, uh, building it from scratch. So in the desert there's currently like nothing, there's just sand. There's a few like farm buildings and stuff. Eight kilometers by six kilometers square size. So pretty, pretty big area, which is kind of cool. But the thing is working for like the Qataris. Basically, it's like a royal family that own it. Well, own it, run it, whatever you want to call it. Lead, lead it. And I think sort of being royal means you sort of always get your way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but <laughs> eight kilometer by six kilometer rectangle, not square. But yeah, and what happened was because basically I was doing the drainage on that. I was part of a team. I was like four or five of us doing the drainage. 30,000 gullies, all with individual calculations. So we we basically designed it for the road that was built. And then the royal family go, oh, actually, we don't want like this road to be here. We want it to be over here. We want those to be over there. So they changed their mind, changed the entire design of the thing. And so being drainage, you're like bottom of the food chain. So like if anyone changes theirs, it always affects you because like you sort of design around everything else. They they moved a load of roads, so we had to redo all the road drainage again. And then they wanted better ducting or whatever, and that takes priority. So we had to move our drainage to dodge the duct and th just that sort of stuff. And basically it was just a ball lake, absolute ball lake. And it's just drainage. So it's under the ground. You'll never see it ever in your life. Yeah, and the very worst thing of that is we had to work. We're doing six day weeks for this. We did have a day off, thankfully. Um, but we're do it we're coming into the office on the first train, which is I mean, like half six in the morning. And then we'd get the last train home as well. So they'd they'd give us food in the office, like dinner, which I guess was kind of cool because it was just like takeaways. But like after a week or two of takeaways you don't want takeaways anymore you just want like well unfattening food especially when you're sat down at a desk for like well however many hours that is like stupid hour days oh god look how bad it is up there that's where it all is i switched the red we have to do like long range there we go it's done it's done uh but yeah so that was probably my worst project sorry if i banged on a bit long about that I got in the zone the hating zone oh god look at all these there's so many Matt, try Satisfactory. I've streamed it quite a few times. Did you know I have an archive channel? I've got a YouTube channel that shows all my Twitch streams. So if you were interested in what I was up to in that game, you can go to that channel, check it out. All right, we're getting into the, the nitty gritty of these. I think I'm just going to do like all the banisters. I have a feeling I'm going to have to scaffold for the outsides. Let's just do all the insides for now. I feel like, the, oh, there you go. One just ticked off. I feel like the floor will be the most satisfying. Uh, Matt, are you from Wales? No, but I am living in Wales. So I went to uni in Swansea and then through like contacts, etc. in Wales. I just ended up getting a job in Wales and just lived here ever since. But yeah, no, I'm from Southeast England originally. Oh, look, there's a light up there. We will clean you, you cheeky little light. Oh, we got to do the top of the banisters. Very sneaky. Oh, and all these sides. I forget there's like double sided. Oh, I hate the bloody... Why are there edges? Why do things have edges? Who came up with edges? Oh, there's someone that has power hose before. Don't get too close or you'll scar up the wood. Yep. So in real life, if you were to like, well, do that, that wood would be shot. It would be like splintering everywhere. Uh, thankfully, that doesn't happen in this game. Can you imagine they like penalized you for cleaning it too hard? All right. Nearly there on this banister, I hope. Trouble is I have to do the outside, so it's not even going to ping. I don't get the satisfying ka-ching noise. Oh God, bloody edges. They oh, look, it did. That's that was quite generous, to be fair. Do I have a football club that I root for? In the southeast, there aren't many football teams about. I think Brighton are probably the closest. Otherwise, it's like London. Uh, so as a kid, didn't really follow. I, I was well into football. 
But I didn't like have a local team or anything, which is a bit sad. So England have always been like my team. And yes, before everyone gets into it, yep, yeah, we lost. We didn't win. We didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Don't anyone used to watch the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as a kid? I used to love that show. Uh, would you would you like a knob? Oh look, there's already some nuts there. Can you see that? That's not me, is it? That is a pair of testicles. Brilliant. Value for money, that is. You don't get that on any other stream on Twitch. Only here. Tid tid in Indonesian means dong. Lovely. <laughs> you have joined the right stream. Uh, right, I need to get back to cleaning. I think I've tried to squeeze a knob in most of my games. Usually due to viewer demand. I'm not obsessed. I'm really not. It's you guys that's obsessed. And I assume you wouldn't mind a knob as well. Next to your name. It's sort of complimentary. It's on the house. Uh, it's also non-negotiable. So I don't really know why I'm asking. It's the Cockness monster. I like to call this one. Like a duck dick. They are corkscrews. <laughs> they are actually. I When I used to work in... I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, this is another a perfect time. Story time with Matt. So when I used to work in that garden, you know, the one that I spoke about in the lawn mowing simulator videos, there were thousands of ducks. Like, because it was quite a big, I think it was a seven hectare or acre. One of them, a seven, some sort of area unit garden. So quite big, big lawns and uh, loads of ponds and like lakes and stuff. And they had loads of ducks, so many ducks. And uh, this is where I learned that, I don't know, do I say this? I'm gonna say it anyway. Sorry if this offends anyone. Literally, the males would like maybe seven, if not more, would all gang up on the females and literally just like hold them down and mate with them. Absolutely horrible. It really tarnishes your view of ducks. Like when most people look at like a mallard duck, they're like, oh, a duck. Look, it's just, it's, it's ducky. It does duck stuff. Once you've worked in that garden, you realize they're, they're evil. Literally evil. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the actual story bit, because that's not much of a story. That's just, that's just facts. I'm just spitting facts at you. So I used to, in the mornings, when I worked in this garden, they had two horses. And I used to feed the horses, and I used to have to do their medicine as well. Because uh, they're quite old horses, they had like laminitis and stuff. So every morning I'd be like getting their food ready, getting their medication ready. And then, well, this single mallard just used to come down every day. I didn't, I didn't name him actually. I'm quite glad I didn't. So he always used to come to the door. So I always used to give him like a little bit of duck feed. And uh, we used to like have fun with it. Like we used to like play games, like... I'd put like a little pile of food by this door and like he'd be pecking the food and then like I'd make him jump and we'd laugh about it and it was great times. We had we had fantastic memories, me and this duck. And this probably went on for like three, four months. And after that three, four months, he was fat. Like he was absolutely huge. I like, literally you've probably never seen a duck this, but it was kind of like the Hulk, but I don't think it was muscle. It was like just fat. I had literally turned this duck from just a normal scrawny mallard into an absolute beast duck. Through the power of love. Anyway, one morning, just doing the horses, and literally this duck, every single morning, without a shadow of a doubt, he would be there. But he didn't show up. And I was like, no, oh, I wonder where... I must have named... I can't remember his name. I must have named him. I can't remember his name. But anyway, I've... yeah, I said, like, where's the duck? Very strange. Uh, anyway, and then later on in the day, I was doing some work with one of the other gardeners. And he's like, I don't know, proper outdoorsy person. He's into all sorts of things, like outdoor stuff. Anyway, he was saying the owner of like the manor house that we gardened in. I uh, asked him if he could come do some shooting because there's too many ducks. This guy, his name was Bill. He said, yeah, so last night I came down after work with my rifle, shot a load of ducks and I've got to take them home. He said, you'll never guess what. When I was up by the stables, there was this absolutely huge duck. Never seen a duck that big in my life. Anyway, I had him for dinner. And I was like, what? Please tell me you're joking. No, he, I, fed, I fed up this duck only for my colleague bloody shoot him and eat him that was it that's the story of me and the duck i'm, I'm, I'm literally welling up i'm a bit i'm a bit sad <laughs> poor little thing it was because like ducks don't usually go up there that was sort of a, like an outer bound duck place all the ducks sort of hung out in the main sort of pondy areas so i think that's why i sort of came attached to him because he ventured outside the circle circle of duck trust and he thought he could trust me i thought i could trust him and turns out it cost him but at least I, I do tell myself this at least he had a good life like he ate like a king and i think like wild animals they're sort of into that stuff like humans if they like a fat person they're like a fat person but i think ducks are like oh my god a fat person that's so much duck i want him i want him and uh so probably got him lo like loads of shagging amongst the female ducks is a female duck called a duck? I think it is. Yeah, that's true, Dodo Bird. I think like Tudor times, 
It was a sign of being like wealthy if you were fat. Or like Victorian times maybe. So fat people did get some puss. <laughs> Yeah, but not anymore. Now it's all about starving yourself and looking muscly at the same time. Uh, mullets came back. What? What did I miss? Mullets are back in. Are we talking about hairstyle mullets? That's the one hairstyle I sort of wish I could have had. I don't know why. I feel like they are quite cool. <laughs> to be, I was talking to my mate about this the other day, actually. I was saying, like, like if I was around in the 80s or... Was it 80s or 70s or something? Yeah, if I was around then, like, there's 100% chance I would have had a mullet. And he... He said to me, quite and quite fairly as well, uh, no, you wouldn't, Matt. You literally wouldn't. And I was like, yo, would? Yo, would, mate? He was like, no, because the people who would have had mullets back then are the same people that have top knots now. And I was like, oh my god, you're right. And I don't have a top knot, therefore I wouldn't have had a mullet. Fair point, isn't it? Are you ever going to play the small game you probably have never heard of? <laughs> Minecraft. If I had a dollar for every time I'd been asked, Am I going to play Minecraft? I'd probably have like $20. But um, yeah, I am going to play it at some point. Never played it. I'm not sure what I want to do in it, if I'm honest. Because it's one of those games where like everything's been done. And whether it would just be interesting to watch someone that's never played it before play it, potentially, that could be really boring at the same time as well. Don't know. Um, but my Discord server, they created me like a level. They built a load of stuff. Uh, they're trying to work out how to get me the file because it's like 20 gigabytes. But I will be reviewing their level or at least like doing a tour of it. So quite intrigued to see what they did in there. By the way, if you notice, I'm prone in this game. I'm like proper just sliding around like a slug. I'm slugging around. Move out of my way. We're going to we're going to do a battle of dong. But you're going to be spurting towards Breachy. This is this is getting a bit weird now. I'm going to stop that. But thank you, Ryan Wimtug. Very, very impressive round the corner skill you got there as well. I think the upper deck railing is... Yeah, look, it's all one bloody thing. So I think i got to do the outside. If I jump over... Oh, God. God. I don't want to spray the floor, so I'm going to go prone and sort of shoot upwards. Oh, God, I'm falling, I'm falling downstairs. I'm a slug. Slugs don't do stairs. Right, I feel like this one's going to have to be bloody moving the scaffold. So you're just going to... You're just going to have a little one. Just a little... And then EDH. What does the EDH stand for? It stands for Everyday Heroes. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to underline that bit. Decent. Right. Let's carry on with where we got to. <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> and imagine if you like, imagine if you hired someone to power who's this. I'm I'm like I'm in my 30s. Oh look, we got the barbecue. Shall we do the barbecue? Something a bit different. It's rusty as well. Oh god. I'm gonna switch to the stubby hose so we can get nice and close. Because it looks like all the rails need cleaning. Barbecue grill. That's a ridiculous game. That is not on. Not on at all. I've got to actually finish this level at some point. I'm pretty sure on like six or seven hours already. <laughs> oh, look at these canisters. Charcoal or gas? I'm more of a charcoal man myself. I like the uh, caveman feeling of lighting my own fire. Are these gas bottles not done? How? What? I don't understand where the rest of it is. Is it the top? Oh, yeah, it's just the tops. Oh, there you go. Easy. Easy, mate. My grandfather wants to barbecue with old tires. I really hope that's a joke. <laughs> that cannot be good for you. Right, so I think we're pretty good. We can probably get under there a bit. I don't like using cleaner. I feel like I'm cheating. I feel like architects would use cleaner. Where's where's the rest of the rust on this drum? Oh, there, it's at the front. Get that rust off. They all look barbecue side table. There's still a bit of dirt somewhere. Where's the dirt? Where are you hiding? I don't see dirt anywhere on that table. I was at it. There it is. What? I literally don't see any dirt. I don't see any dirt on this table. Oh, really? come on, table. Look how little the bar is. Got it. Back of the net. Oof. I am literally sweating my bollocks off. It is so hot. It is so hot. Let's get the, the long range arm back on and side to side it. All right, I'm trying to do this to save me from using the scaffold because I hate the scaffold. Oh, look at the long range power hosen. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. However, I say don't judge me for doing it. Judge yourself for watching. View count goes down to zero. Ah, oh, see, you need to add more knobs. I think we have plenty. And the eight is being turned into a knob. Love it. You got to quit that engineering job. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking about it. <laughs> I like YouTubing. I really do. Oh, I've d I think I just got to get on the bloody scaffolding now. I feel like I've done nearly everything. Nearly everything. 
I'm going to... Oh god, that looks like a face. That's terrifying. Is that terrifying for anyone else? That's horrible. <laughs> Get away from here. But anyway, I'm literally so sweaty, guys. I'm going to have to leave it there for today. But look at all these lovely names. Now, there's so many. So many. And it's not just this top floor either. It's all over here, all the knobs. Every knob you can see on this level was a sub. Cheers, guys. Peace, love, and power hosing, washes, knobs, everything. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take it easy.